I say unity in diversity, where each one is doing their own thing, but working towards a common goal. In the process, we learn how to bear each other's burdens and jointly enjoy the rewards of our shared endeavours. We also, I think, have to acknowledge the differences between each other and accept our differences and celebrate those in our own society. Because people are at the heart of what we have to do, we need to celebrate diversity because nobody really has a monopoly over everything, different skill sets. And by in doing so, I think it, it has enabled our firm to perform better and at the same time make the workplace quite enjoyable. Living in Singapore, in a small space, we regularly come across people of different faiths and different race. And uh, understanding them will help us better understand their sensitivities. Being able to work knowing that it is your efforts and contributions that the organisation will take into account when assessing you it gives our staff the freedom to strive and aspire without the impediments of glass ceilings or prejudice. Contribute and you will be recognised for it. A lot of research and studies show that it's a business imperative that having a diverse workplace and team brings a very productive uh, culture in creativity and innovation. We have recently started a Monday lunch at the office and it's a company lunch where people sit around the table and, and eat and different cuisines are ordered and basically cuisines have to be different kinds like sometimes this is Chinese or Malay or European or uh, Indian, you know, inclusion of everyone is, is very important. One thing for sure is that we haven't seen a need to put blinders or to put identity markers in the way we hire people. It would be very simple to say, look, let's just hire from outside and join the arms race and hunt in the red ocean for tech talent. We decided to be a part of the solution. We also have launched a Call It Out workshop since 2021. In that workshop, we have actually provided our people a framework how to enable them to call it out when they experience or witness someone having a negative or inappropriate language or behavior towards another or to themselves how to make it a constructive behaviour between their teams, how to call it out positively, like constructively. In our policies, be they for employee benefits or for personal lines, what we do is that we take into account the various cultural norms that is in a racially diverse Singapore. So in as much as we would promote, for example, the application and coverage for traditional Chinese medicine. We are also alive to other forms of traditional medicine like Ayurvedic medicine and so on. So in a way, what we do is that we help pay for treatments that are common and that are familiar to our diverse population and in that we allow them to seek care where they are most comfortable. We also introduced a third party anonymous line that gives us uh, the opportunity for our staff if they experience any sort of racism or any sort of discrimination, harassment or anything related to their living in the workplace, they are free to call that third party without giving any details or specifics but explaining the incident. I would like the RRIC program to create RRIC ambassadors who are able to go into other organizations and communities and speak to them and get a pledge from those communities or organizations for more RRIC ambassadors. And thus this program will extend in, into the workspaces, into the communities. I think that just as organizations need to adapt business structures, supply chains, technological applications and so forth, it is equally important for a reappraisal of what possibilities can be realized because of the strength of our diversity. What we believe and what I believe is sometimes because we don't know something, we have more fear towards that. But if we start understanding those things and why they do certain things, certain beliefs and certain religions have certain requirements, when we start understanding those things, we develop more familiarity and less fear. While diversity and tolerance isn't well practiced, we know that it is possible. And we must believe that in Singapore we can make that happen. And that requires bolder spirits. Thank you.